to space continuous. Today, we're going to make a comparison between past simple and past continuous. The structure, past simple, auxiliary deed. For the affirmative statement, subject, verb in past and complement. For example, I finished my career. For negative statement, subject, auxiliary, in its negative form, plus infinitive. I didn't finish my report. Interrogative statement, the auxiliary verb at the first part of the sentence. For example, did I finish my report? Question mark. Don't forget. When we have an auxiliary verb, the verb action doesn't have any change. Auxiliary verb, the action verb doesn't have any change. Past continuous, the structure auxiliary was and where. Remember, was for singulars. I, he, she, and it. And where for plurals? Where for you, we, and they. The structure, affirmative, subject, was for singular, were for plural, the action verb plus ing, negative statement, the subject, was the auxiliary verb with the negative statement, wasn't, or weren't, and the auxiliary verb plus the ing. Interrogative statement, the auxiliary verb at the first part of the sentence, subject and the verb with ing. Okay, let's analyze the example. Subject, auxiliary verb for singular, and the action verb plus the ing. I was playing the piano. For plural, they, the auxiliary verb, the action verb and the ing. Let's continue. Grammar rules. Past simple. When we are talking about past simple, we need to talk about regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs are the verbs that take D or ED to form the past simple or past participle tense. For example, love loved, designed, designed, correct, corrected. Irregular verbs are the verbs that do not follow any rule. They change their form. Do, the, done, go, went, gone, write, wrote, written, buy, bought, and bought. And when we are talking about past continuous and when we are talking about continuous tenses, we need to take into account ing ending. In general terms, to form the gerund of the verse, we need to add ing to the verse. For example, cook, 
cooking, study, studying, speak, or speaking, just adding the ing. Past simple versus past continuous uses. We use the past simple to talk about actions that started in the past and finished in the past. For example, I wrote the letter to my boss. I'm not writing any anymore because I have already finished writing the letter to my boss. We use the past simple to talk about action that took place in a specific moment in the past. For example, Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in 1969. Past continuous or progressive. We use the past progressive to talk about action that happened simultaneously. Two or more actions. We use the past progressive to talk about a long action in the past interrupted for another action in the past. We use the past progressive to talk about actions that were usually made in the past. Examples. Simultaneous action. While I was creating the presentations, Diego was creating the pictures. Two action at the same time. We use the past progressive to talk about a long action in the past interrupted for another action. Fernanda was surfing by the internet when her boss arrived. And third example, when I was in the university, I always was singing. It was a usually action made in the past. Thank you. Any question, complete this learning space.